Hello students, uh, today we shall see the new concept of what do we mean by set. So, it is a very basic uh, uh, mathematical fundamental thing uh, that we always uh, know, but this is very important. So, whenever uh, you have to study the concept of uh, uh, the BCA, so where uh, the introduction of uh, uh, the database or anything that we, uh, whatever you study in the concept, so where you will have to know the basics of this mathematics. So, therefore, uh, this uh, in this basic mathematic concepts we have this set. So, set is what? So, set is nothing but it is a collection of elements we all know. Uh, so, it is a collection of elements and collection of elements in the sense it should be of some category. So, uh, it should be of a particular may, may be it is a group of birds, group of uh, uh, pens, a group of uh, all the accessories that you use. So, like this it should be of some category and while representing a set. So, set is always represented with a capital letter. So, that you can see here. So, the set is E and E is always written cap in a capital uh, letter. So, so, that it represents a set. And here you can see the roster uh, style and the rule style are the two different uh, types or the methods that we use for representing the uh, set. So, the sets are represented with the roster method and you can see here E is equal to A E I O U is the uh, 5 elements that I have listed here in the example and uh, this is the roster method. So, then the second one is the rule method. So, the rule method says that it is uh, not listing of the elements one after the other, but we will describe the characteristic of the particular uh, element which exists in this particular set. Say for example, so you can find the difference here. So, E is equal to x where, where is written as a slash and then x belongs to this is not this E, but it is a symbol of uh, belongs to. So, x belongs to what? x belongs to English vowels. So, English vowels what are the English vowels? A, E, I, O, U are the English vowels I know. So, therefore, uh, this element, so the element x belongs to this E will be in the particular set only in the set of English vowels. So, and, and by this the characteristic is very clear enough. When compared to this roster and the rule method, so the roster method it keeps on uh, uh, listing out all the elements one after the other and uh, say for example, I have some thousand elements to be listed. So, in that I cannot uh, write this all the thousand elements one after the other by just a comma. So, then it becomes such a lengthy set. So, in that case I can use this rule method for representing uh, the data as a particular characteristic. So, it, it is uh, matching a particular characters. So, therefore, only those elements which match the characters are included in this set. So, uh, this is the uh, different methods that we have. So, now we shall see the different types of sets that we have. So, what is what are the different types of sets? So, types of sets I have the first type is the empty set. So, uh, as we have 0 in mathematics which says null, nothing and uh, vacuum. So, in the, in the same way, so set should also have a, a nothing thing. So, nothing in the sense a set which does not have anything is called as a empty set and empty set is always de, uh, denoted as a phi or empty. There is nothing in this set. So, uh, take the example. I have a set where x is x square is equal to 9 and x is a even and x is a even. In this case, the characteristic says that uh, how will be my x? x will be something like x square is equal to 9. So, uh, which is the number? If you square it, you get a 9. Of course, it is minus 3 or plus 3. So, if I square minus 3, I get a 9 or if I square 3, I get a 9. So, that means x can be either 3 or it can be 
plus 3. So, if this is the case, so then x cannot be even. So, x can never be even. So, in this set, I am saying my x should be even and also it should follow this characteristics. Of course, I will not have any such element in my set which will satisfy this characteristic. So, therefore, this set is going to be an empty set and therefore, I can directly write it as this set, set is a empty set. So, uh, this is the first type that is the empty set. So, the first type of set that is the empty set. Next one is the singleton set. Singleton set is a set which has the elements only one. So, if you have any set, so in which uh, your uh, element is only one single, so then you call it as a single set. Uh, for each and every one, you, every set you can uh, uh, keep on giving one one examples. So, in the same way if you consider the previous one, uh, where my x was something like x square is equal to 9 uh, and my x is x is odd and positive. In the same example, so what, what we had considered for the empty set, the same thing there is x square is equal to 9 and my x is odd and positive. So, in this case, so what will be my uh, x? So, that is I cannot take minus 3 as my x value because minus 3 is not a positive number. So, therefore, I have to consider only this. So, that means 3 is the only element I have in this particular example. So, if only uh, 3 is the uh, element that I have, so then this is an example for a singleton set. So, singleton because this set will have only 3. So, only 3 is the uh, 3 is the element that exists in this set because uh, as per the characteristic. So, this is the singleton. So, next is the example that is a finite set. So, finite in the sense we all know finite is nothing but anything uh, which can be counted, uh, which has a limitations. So, which is not boundless, which is uh, not something uh, which cannot be counted like this. So, therefore, I have a set in which the elements are fixed, limited. So, then I can say it is a uh, finite set. So, finite set is say for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 some 5 elements I have in my set and this is an example for a finite set. Okay. So, this is about the introduction of what we mean by set and uh, the uh, different methods that we use to represent the set and also uh, few uh, types of sets that we have considered. We will continue with the same uh, uh, types in the next video. Thank you.